guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad everyone stopped by today because I'm really excited. I got a really fun project for you guys. I know everyone has been obsessed with the fidget spinner lately. They're so cool. Everyone wants one. Everyone's buying them or crafting one. I've yet to get one and honestly, I want to see what the hype's about. So I'm going to make a fidget spinner. And since I've got to go to the max with everything that I do, I'm going to be making a giant plush fidget spinner that spins. <laughs> I'm super excited. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's go. <laughs> this is the pattern for our spinner. I drew this out using a couple round things around my kitchen, like um, plates, cups, whatever I could find that would work for the circles that I needed. I laid them out on the paper, traced them, and connected them to make the spinner shape. So right now we're going to cut out the main body of the spinner, and then we're also going to be cutting out some circle details to go on to the three ends of the spinner. For my colors, I decided to go with a teal and a purple. Now the pattern that I used to make the details at the end, I also used to make the round middle part that we're going to make spin later. Now you're probably wondering what I'm filling my spinner with to make it to where it's firm enough to actually spin. Well, I'm going to be using foam. The foam I'm using is actually a recycled couch cushion. I don't recommend grabbing your parents' couch cushion and cutting it up. You'll probably get in trouble. So <laughs> you can actually go to the art store and get the same type of foam. I just had it on hand and wanted to use what I already had. Now you'll notice our spinner does not fit on the couch cushion. So I'm going to modify the little pattern I have. I'm going to cut one of the arms off and I'm going to make two different pieces of foam that will connect later. I'm also cutting the circle piece for the middle while I'm at it. After drawing out my pattern onto the foam, it's time to cut it out. Now you can use whatever you have around the house that you're comfortable cutting the foam with, but what I'm using to cut my foam is pretty much a drywall cutter. Um, it's not very sharp, but it's serrated enough to where it'll cut the foam very nicely. After cutting out my foam pieces, I'm going to take the circle piece that I have for the middle and I'm going to cut it in half. Okay, now it's time to add the third arm back onto our spinner. To do this, I'm going to use some wooden dowels. I'm going to cut some holes for them to go into. Fill that with glue and then place the wooden dowels into the holes and push the two pieces together. So it gives it a nice bit of support. And then I'm going to sew a little bit of the foam into place so that you don't get a weird seam after you cover it with the fabric. Okay, now we can start moving on to the sewing. First thing I'm going to do is take the felt detail that I have and I'm going to pin them to the arms of the spinner and we're going to sew those on to the fabric. After that's done, I'm going to take my measuring tape and measure the um, foam piece that we're using for the inside of the spinner um, to find out what fabric strips I need for the sides. So I measured the thickness of my foam, this is about 5 inches, and then I measured from one arm to the other, and I'm going to make that one strip, so you'll need three strips total for the sides. And then I measured the inside of the circles for the outer arms. 
I cut all that fabric out and now I'm going to sew the part that is going to go into the holes of the spinner. So I'm taking the fabric for that and I'm going to fold it over and then we're going to sew down one of the sides. After that we're going to push this into the hole of the spinner and we're going to sew around the lip of it on both sides. So I'm going to do this with all four holes. After finishing the holes of the spinner, it's time to work on the sides. I decided since our foam is really jagged right now, I'm going to take some batting and go along the edge of it and put that in between the foam and the fabric. So I'm going to sew along this and then we're going to flip it and sew along the other side and then do the other two sides. Now that the main body of our spinner is finished, it's time to work on the spinning mechanism. This part is a lot simpler than you would actually think. These are all the different pieces that we need to make the spinning mechanism. I've got our foam ends, um, I've got a little bit of cardboard that I'm going to use to strengthen the back of the foam, and then I have a cardboard tube that I actually got from the bubble wrap that I use to package my creatures when I sell them. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking the cardboard that I cut out and I'm going to glue it to the backing of the round foam pieces. You'll notice that I have a circle drawn out on the back of our foam piece. Well, pretty much this is cut about halfway through the foam, so when we connect it to the tube, the tube will go halfway into the foam piece. That's why the cardboard backing also has a hole in it. Now I can start covering this in fabric. So I'm going to glue on the fabric backing for the piece and then you can see I have a strip of fabric to go around the piece and um, a circle to go on top of it. So we're going to sew along these and then we should be able to move on to connecting everything together. After the sewing, these are what our pieces look like right now. On one of them, I decided to draw out and do a little logo for one of them just for fun. So I'm going to take my cardboard tube and I'm going to apply some hot glue on the inside of one end and on the outside of the end. And then we're going to push this into the circle that's going to be on the front. After that piece has cooled and is nice and firm, we're going to push the tube through the body of the spinner. And then we're going to glue on the other circle onto the tube. And here is our giant plush fidget spinner. I had so much fun making this. I am in love with it. It's so squishy. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, leave me a like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!